Hello, Hall Wheels and Metropox Car Collector. Today I'll be showing you how to make a rush detail or make the car look like it's a junker with using paint. If you follow these simple steps, your car, your Hot Wheel car or Matchbox car will be looking just fine or old. So you don't have to use this certain type of car. I use why I cho um, chose white. You can paint the car over any type of car that a color that you will like. You use you'll be using a type of dark brown color in any other car. If you want to use these other like they can look like they're from different cars like green fenders or anything like that you can do it but i to be telling you how to do a rust detail on a car so let's begin so first of all you want to do is get your paintbrush nice and wet and get the brown on the paintbrush what you want to do is all the open spots you want to dent gently dab it on there and around all the edges it will take to two to three hours to dry so this is recommended to putting a little a little a little towel or paper under it until it dries in case if any of the paper or if, if the paint falls off and if you're like painting on a type of rug or ta nice table you don't want to get messy it's just, and it's telling you because you don't want to get in trouble so you're just seeing I am um, lightly putting it over the paint putting it around the edges right here I'll be also putting some other tutorials how to make cards look like junkers and put flames on them and if you or if you're not happy with the type of color you get your car, and this is the only type of color that you can get, I'll be making tutorials to change car paints and I'll make them like they're just brushed on there. As you can see, the, car, the rust is looking very realistic. You can add a little bit orange because you know sometimes the rust looks like kind of an orangish brownish mixed together. But I'm just staying with the brown because when the brown dries, I'll put a little. A little gently coat of orange on it. Um, there might be a part two if I don't get this done in time. But here is a little close-up look to what I have done so far. You could try doing the bumper, which is chrome, and it might not show up very well. But it does work best on white cars because it looks kind of more realistic. Once again, you can do it on any type of car. Putting on the edges right here. My favorite one place to put rust is on the doors, in the corners, and on the fenders right here. Right here. Also, I'll be making them look. Also, I'll either be doing some other tutorials, like I'll be getting off-road trucks to make them look like they've been through the mud. But this one, it's just doing a rust detail. So you don't have to spend money on already custom hot wheels that are already rusty. Like on eBay, people already did them. So this is kind of an easy way to make your car look rusty. The rims are pretty hard. You only get want to get an amount of paint on the paintbrush and get them but I only kind of do them in the middle for them to look kind of more realistic I'm, this is not the most perfect looking rust but I think it looks pretty good so moving to the back if you have the same car what you want to do is make this little window wiper in the back all oh, rust right there so you want to make it where it's kind of bright but rust. And around the headlights, you want to still be careful so you can see the redness and the red lights. I mean, not the I mean the headlights. So I carefully dab right there. And as you can see, the rust is now around the headlights. So you. You can put the rust anywhere in the type of vehicle that you want. I'm just giving you ideas if you want to do them on the door, the hood, even the, 
even cracks, which you can easily get something sharp and cut the window a little bit for it to make it look crack, cracked. So for the windows, I usually use a little bit gray so it looks like they're all foggy, but sometimes I use, use a light brown to make them look all dusty. I usually I do rust on my little rust tutorials. Well, this is my first one, but I usually do them under the window. Like this. I also, in the next video, I'm going to do another paint tutorial on the old car, but I'm going to make it look good again. Well, I never try to paint a, a new car, you know, look like an old car with new paint on it. So it might look kind of bad. So here we are going to the next side. We're going to do the same thing, but not the exact same thing. We'll get a little dark brown on this side right here. A little bit of light brown near the fenders. Let me light this off real quick. It doesn't matter if you get some of the paint on the rubber tire or on um, the tire. Just make sure you wipe it off without wiping off the paint on the side. So. Um, we're going to be doing the doors real quick, but this time, I'm just going to put them on the side like this. It's not going to be as quite rusty as on the other side. So, I'm going to try my best to paint the roof since you can't really see it. But, what you're going to do if your car has roof racks, you just want to make part of it rusty. There you go. This is a tutorial of the rust detail on the car. I'm going to turn it around real quick. I hope you liked this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. If there is a certain type of car that you would like to see, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to get to you. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Goodbye.